making trick or treats for our pets and so they can partake in, in Halloween fun. So once your kids have carved out a pumpkin, you're going to have all the inside flesh. Keep it to one side because that's what we're going to actually use in our treats. So we pop some of the flesh out of this pumpkin here and all I've done is simply add it to a food processor and blend it down so we've got a nice pumpkin puree. Then take some natural instinct beef jerky. Now this is ground up beef heart. Pop it in the food processor as well and you're going to get a nice mince just like so. Take your pumpkin puree and add that to the meaty mix. This is a super simple recipe. It's just for good fun really so your pets can partake in Halloween. It's a great one for if trick or treaters come to the door and you want to be able to keep the dogs quiet or silent, you can give them a treat at the same time. It also means they're not getting hold of any of the children's treats either. So melt down some coconut oil. You're going to need a silicone mold. I've managed to get some great Halloween shaped ones here. Pour your coconut oil into the mold. Now be careful if you're doing this with kids, you want to make sure it is going to be slightly warm. Okay, I've got Sammy begging for food down here, you can smell it all. So as you can see, we've got a nice mincy pumpkin mix. Pop it into our moulds, there we go, and then just add a top layer of coconut oil, there we go, and that's going to go into the freezer for about a couple of hours. So pop that to one side, and once you take it out of the freezer, this is what you're going to have, see, there we go, shall we try it out? Here you go, Morgie, would you like to try this with Teddy? Yum! <laughs> And that's going to be your happy.